Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love that love doing some trailer reactions together. Yes, we do. So we're checking out a new game for us, uh, Claire Obscure uh, Expedition 33 reveal trailer from the Xbox Games Showcase. A lot of cool trailers came out for that and we're doing a bunch of them, uh, releasing them individually. So go ahead and check those out. Um, so I just have heard a lot of great things about this trailer and it's a game that people said that we would uh, enjoy. So go check it out. Okay. Product not yet rated. Ooh. Damn. Are the towers of thunder? It's an understatement. <laughs> Soon she'll wake and paint again. Paint a new number. Ticking down every year. One stroke. And everyone of that age Ooh. vanishes into nothingness. <gasps> Oh, wow. Every year she paints again. And every year, an expedition departs for the continent with one hopeless mission. Destroy the Paintress so she can never paint death again. Oh, cool. Wow. Fun concept. Yeah. So she can't steal anyone else's future. This world is full of wonders. Yet everywhere we go, we walk with death. Oof. Do you mean we're the only ones left? Oh, timing. Nice. Yeah, nice counter. Even if we fail, we lay the trail for those who will come after. Right? We are Expedition 33. Very cool. Yep. Our community knows us. That's a great story. Yeah. I'll to you right away. And then the, uh, the game itself, like, it was like... Uh, we say it's cross between games I've never played. So it's a cross between uh, Soulsborne game, like, you know, those big bosses. And uh, also reminded me of like um, Death Stranding, just kind mm. of uh, as well. Just the exploration of it all. And I love the, for, I mean, like I said, love the story. The combat, I don't know if we'd be able to handle it. It looks, looks like it's going to be, you know, you got a lot of good timing. But also like you can hopefully... Uh, control each character in your party and like uh, choose how they they attack. Um, so I kind of I like that aspect of it. What do you think? I, I'm down to play it. I don't <laughs> care if we're not any good at it. I'm, I'm down to try it. Um, I was very curious, like the visuals are so, so captivating in like mm -hmm. a horrifying kind of way to see the Eiffel Tower like that. And yeah. like you're just instantly riveted by by this visual and like what the hell is going on? And you know, you sort of see the number 34 in that, and then it becomes much more pronounced in the second image with like the broken Arc de Triomphe. Um, and I was thinking, I was like, I wonder what 34 is about. And I was like, well, it's so obvious. They're going to have to like tell us because it's, it's very much in the center. Yeah. Never in a million years would I have guessed that that is what it was going to be. And so I love that they surprised me. I love that they thought up this incredibly creative idea of the paintress and like the numbers and painting death and people just just vanished like they got mm -hmm. marble snapped out of existence because it's so high stakes. I mean to think that like you're going about living your life but at any moment your age could be painted on a canvas of death somewhere and suddenly you mm -hmm. disappear. I mean talk about living each day like it's your last. I just think that like this is coming out in 2025. I think probably maybe 2030 is when the TV show or movie is going to be made of this because it's just such oh, yeah. a fascinating um, premise yeah. for a story that unless it's like, unless the, they just completely botched the rest of it and it's just a cool premise and everything else sucks, 
I can't see how this is not going to be just an absolute home run and it's going to be turned into a, a movie or a show. Um, just cause like, that's, that's such a fascinating, uh, story and, and plot. And, um, the big monsters that you, that you fight, um, have cool designs. Uh, like you said, like the, the world itself, yes, it looks, it looks horrifying, but it's also, I mean, you should see how, I don't know, massive it is because of the way that the camera angle is like, I don't know. It's just like, like the, you see the, the beauty of the, of the whole entire world or the horror of the whole entire world. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that's why it was so captivating is because it's both like as they were running through the woods at one point on their journey, like it was so beautiful, like the nature there and, mm -hmm. and the the graphics in this are so well done that like you can see there's beauty, but you can't escape the visual of the opening shots where the Eiffel Tower is all twisted yeah. and the arc is split. And like you just know something horrible is happening in this world that otherwise could be wonderful and beautiful and and. Mm -hmm like a garden of Eden to live in. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And uh, if you want more of our Xbox showcase game trailers, then go ahead and check out our playlist that we have and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Expedition 33 reveal trailer, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.